Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Uh, with the SSC Arena here. I'm joined by Rachel Ball and also Gavin Burrows. Um, it's been a bit of a, a weird kind of 24 hours for you because obviously um, you were meant to be fighting for the full WBA title. Um, so you should really have that on your shoulder tonight. But you have the WBC interim title. So yeah, talk to me about your performance first of all. Uh, I think I handled my uh, my distance and used my, my height and my reach a lot better in this fight, which I'm pleased about. Uh, three more body shots. Uh, obviously, I did get frustrated in the last 10 seconds, but, you know, 10 rounds of chasing someone, you're going to get a bit fed up eventually, aren't you? <laughs> um, Gavin, what was your assessment of uh, Rachel's win tonight? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I don't think it mattered who was in front of her tonight. Uh, we, should, we prepared to, that result would have been the same either way. Now, it's been a hectic week, and we thank George Alina for jumping in. Um, thank you to Matt Room and Eddie for working really hard to ensure we had a fight and to also ensure that we're fighting for the WBC interim belt. So we've still a version of the world title. And, and, and the thing is, it's, it's experience now. So when we do fight for that world title, whenever it'll be, hopefully sooner rather than later, we've, we've learned a lot. And, and I think that showed in, in Rachel's performance tonight that she's learned, learned to be a bit more calmer as such. <laughs> I'm going to be able to just process what my coaches have been able to say and uh, take on board what they're saying, not just because for not for want of trying, but just being able to execute the things that they're saying. I hope. <laughs> it has been um, like a bit of a, a mad or crazy, as you explained it in your Sky Sports interview, uh, period of time for you. You were brought in as an away fighter on the matchroom camp, and now. You were meant to be fighting for the full world title, but you're sitting there with a WBC interim title. So how quickly life can move? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And you know what? There's such a lot of crap going on at the moment in the whole world. I've been so, so fortunate to have a good year. It's like, you know, I'm just, I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. Absolutely. Uh, plans moving forward, obviously, for 2021. You've got so many options there. Obviously, I'm assuming one of your targets is to, to claim that WBA full title. Yeah, yeah, that's something that I set off to do in the offset of this camp, and I'd certainly like to achieve that early 21, and we'll take it from there. But you know, I'm making the bantam weights. Let's make super fly. Why not? If I can do it, let's go for it. Absolutely. Um, obviously, you were scheduled to fight uh, Ebony Bridges from Australia. Is that still a possibility that you may still fight her at some point next year? I'm happy to honour it. Yeah. I think yeah. it's a fight that I think it's only fair. She's picked up an injury. It's not her fault that she's got injured. She spent a lot of money. She went out to Philadelphia. I feel a bit for Ebony Bridges, to be honest with you. So it's a fight that if we got injured and Ebony Bridges would have fought tonight, I think that she's the right person to would have give us the fight back. So I think it should happen next, personally. And where do you stand on this rematch with, with Shannon Courtney, Rachel? I, I'm not really that... I don't want to sound like I'm being disrespectful. I'm not that bothered about it, to be honest with you. I'm happy. I wish Shannon all the very best in her career. I think she's very, very talented. And uh, I hope she does well in, in the Super Bantam weight or whatever weight she wants to go to. Um, but for me, I'm making the weights easy at Bantam weight, super flight. So why not do it, you know? So it, but you're saying it doesn't have any effect on your career if you move on and go your way and she goes her way? Yeah, and I wish you all the best with it, I do. I think, I think the fight's always going to be spoke about and it probably will happen again, but at the, at the meantime, we're going to do us. We've, we've, we've come out now, we've been given a grateful opportunity, we've just beat a current super flyweight world champion. Yes, she has come in at late notice, but you don't come in at late notice as a world champion if you're not confident. Um, we went in as the away fighter on, on fight camp, a uh, great fight with, with Shannon. and. We've, we've, we've done that, we've done this, we've ticked every box. So, you know what, give us a chance. Give Rachel Ball a chance. She's come, she's won the world title. We was meant to make Super Bantam for the last one, we couldn't do it because of, obviously, reasons. This one, Bantam weight, couldn't do it. Everything we're asked to do, we'll do. And that's what we've always done. 
We've come here to win the Bantamweight World Title. That is our next thing on our agenda, is a fight for that Bantamweight World Title. It's and like an outstanding thing to do. It's like outstanding, we need to do it. And if, if the fights that with Shannon and that come, they'll come, but, but we've got our eyes on what we planned to do. And then when that fight comes, if it happens again, we'll be ready. And a few less tears from you tonight compared to uh, <laughs> fight camp uh, in Eddie Hearn's back garden. Oh, yeah. I, honestly, I don't know what happened to me that day. I, was, I, I nearly got emotional today, but I'm, I'm all right. I'm OK. I'm happy. I'm just like, over the moon. Cloud nine. I saw a couple of tweets about something you said to your opponent tonight. I don't know if it's true. Did you say to her at some point, come on, you little fucker? Have I made that up? Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> have I made that up? No, no, no. I, I have seen that. It was... <laughs> I was so embarrassed. It was because you kept running around. I said, like, I'm, I'm allowed to swear. Yes, on here you can say whatever you want. <laughs> I said, oh, come on, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh. I'm glad we cleared that up because I saw a few tweets because obviously... And I told him you said you're a dickhead, you're live on the sky. I, I, got, I can't done believe you've done that. <laughs> when he's effing and blinded in the last corner. So, oh, oh well, I hope it made some people laugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it would have, I'm sure it would have. Um, OK, Gavin, Rachel, thank you very much. Yeah, have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish? Before it? we go, obviously, I've trained Rachel for 10, 12 years. Obviously, um, it wouldn't have been possible tonight with the likes. We've had, we've had the manager, Errol Johnson, BCB, yeah. uh, Matchroom, Eddie Earn. So we're so thankful, yeah, so, so thankful for the backing and the support that we've had. And, and like I say, BCB and Errol Johnson have worked very hard for us. And now we've, we've Matchroom. We're only going to get bigger and better. Unstoppable, aren't we, kid? Hopefully. Let's go. Guys, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank Would you. like to see you get a crack at the, the WBA title next year. So, uh, yeah, onwards and upwards. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Kirk. Thank you. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.